definitely sun's going down we definitely don't want to be climbing up that mountain right now we don't know where we're at so we need to go ahead and hunker down for the night it's not raining so um, I think a fire is gonna be my first priority right now there's a little bit of a of a flat spot right in there that's where I'm gonna make my shelter so I'm gonna leave room for my shelter and I'm gonna start a fire right in here Hello. come on buddy Go ahead and start drying some wood out for the night. Doesn't need to be nothing big. You need to save your energy. So, if it's not raining, might as well gather as much firewood as you can while you can see. So we're gonna do that. Well, we've got a fire going, we got a little bit of firewood, so I'm gonna get started on my shelter before it gets too dark. Right here is where we're gonna build our shelter. And I can see, we got a Widowmaker right here. So I need to take this Widowmaker down. What a Widowmaker is, is a tree like this one right here that may fall on you and kill you when you're sleeping make uh, your wife a widow so we're gonna go ahead and knock that tree out of there see how see how easy that was i barely had a saw on it it fell right down so a little bit of wind that could have been me under that tree. Oh, look, come on. So now we got some firewood too. So we'll cut it up. Now I can slowly feed this into the fire. And uh, it'll be good. All right, let's continue with our shelter. I've got a little bit of 550 cord. And so we're gonna use that to tie up the ridge pole of our shelter. This side here up. Now we've got a dry place out of the rain. There it is. There's our little uh, our little lean-to. And that'll keep us nice and dry. And Apollo, <clears throat> Apollo's a puppy and this is his first outing. So we'll see how this goes. I think he's gonna do just fine. And for the puppies, I always throw in the super lightweight piece of canvas it's a very small piece and it's super super duper light 
so easy to pack and if you got a dog he'll appreciate it you gotta take care of our pups uh, here we go got my bed and uh Apollo's bed so we still got a little bit of light left so let's go try to find something to eat that sounds good to me before me and Apollo go out here and scrounge us up some food I'm gonna make a way to protect ourselves kind of <laughs> just in case there is <clears throat> a few cougars out here um, and I didn't bring a gun or a bow um, trying to simulate a true survival situation so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna make a spear or maybe an atlatl I don't know All right, now we'll fire hard in this tip. It's a pretty good game trail, kind of going right through here. Oh. Hey, look at that. What we got here? Little antler, little fork and horns pipe. Looks like it's been here for a while, but hey, that that is a handy tool. We're gonna hang on to that. Pretty cool. Lots of poison oak. Hey guys, I got lucky here. Check this out. <clears throat> now, if this doesn't have gills under it, this would be a true elephant ear. Look at that. No gills. Good to eat. All right. Nice. Mushrooms are awesome. Mushrooms are a great source of a lot of things, protein and vitamins. Mushrooms are a really overlooked uh, survival food, I believe. Same with all the other green plants and stuff that grow. All right, well, it's not much, but we're going to try to maybe scrounge up some more of those, hopefully. We got one thing to eat anyway. That makes me happy. Another big part of survival is your attitude. Follow. <whistles> Gotta have a good attitude. Having a bad attitude out here doesn't really do much um, in means of survival. It's depressing and uh, can make you give up hope pretty quick. If you have a good attitude, you can always see over the mountain. And... Uh, if you got the will to live, you'll live. All right. Let's keep looking for food. Looks like Apollo might have found something. Hey, you're fine, buddy. Hey, you're fine. Hey, he's going to town, whatever it is. Okay, come on. Let's leave it. Come on, baby. <clears throat> Looks like it's tea for me for dinner. So um, there's this madrone tree over here. And I'm going to take some of the smaller leaves, just probably three. And then right up here. I'm going to take a few sprigs of this spruce tree. I'll take some of this usnia. I'll make a tea. When you're making tea out here, it's important. Um, you don't want to boil what you're putting in your tea. Boil the water. So what we're going to do is get my we got some coals here there we go put a couple of these branches there to keep my pot a little bit up off of them a little lid 
and we will bring that to a boil. And then my uh, tea stuff here, I'll put somewhere safe. While our water is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get a little bit of a sweetener for our tea. It's also good for you. And that's this stuff here. This uh, sap. You don't need much. Otherwise, it'll be a little bit too tree tasting. But it's good for you. Follow fed. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, Pablo. Okay. Now that that's come to a boil, we'll go ahead and take it off. Just set it right over here. We'll go ahead and add our usnia. And our pine, I mean our spruce needles. And we'll let that steep in there. I don't know, about 10 minutes or so. And, uh, I'll just like that. The leaves are going to give it a nice flavor. Almost like an apple-y flavor. Okay. Put the lid on. And we'll let that... We'll let that steep for about 10 minutes and then we'll drink it. All right, guys. Well, we're all in the bed here. Hey, guys, you know what the best survival tool is in your bag? I'll tell you what it is. It's not a knife, not a saw. It's uh, not an axe. It's not your ferro rod even. Your best survival tool in the bag is your brain. The ability to think, slow down, not panic, adapt, and overcome that's the best survival tool that you could have uh, if you can go out in the woods and identify plants and animals and uh, be able to gather water firewood food make a shelter that's what's going to keep you alive those other fancy tools they're nice to have but uh, the thing that's going to keep you alive is this thing your noggin just woke up and i heard raindrops so i'm going to be proactive I'm gonna grab my pot here. Grab my pot, and uh, I'm gonna just gonna stick it right outside my shelter um, to collect some rainwater for in the morning. Morning. Yeah, Paul just got done stretching, and and uh, I think we're gonna get up and I scrounge us up something to eat, hopefully. Oh. We moved camp a little bit. I didn't like those trees. There's a lot of, today when we woke up, looked around, there was a, a lot more widow makers. So we moved camp a little bit. And right now uh, we're looking for some food. Oh man. Hey, look what we just found. This is awesome. Look at those morels. Pinch them up there. Hey, that's going to be some good eats. A morel, morels are uh, are awesome out here. Mushrooms are really underrated food, and uh, morels have about, I think it's about three grams of protein per cup, and that's pretty close to a cup of mushrooms there. You didn't really expect to find blonde morels out here. It's kind of burnt up out here, so I th thought there was going to be anything. It'd be, probably be uh, black morels. I'll take any morel. Guys, these are turkey tail mushrooms. And these here. Those are great medicine. 
and they're a survival food too. They're not super duper yummy to eat, but we're gonna eat them anyways because we are simulating a survival situation. So we'll take just a few. There we go. Here's some, uh, here's some false morels here. Now, to me, a false morel doesn't really look much like a real morel. <clears throat> I'll show you what the difference is. So, don't really look much like, especially when you pick them. Now, I've heard of some people eating those. I won't eat them just because I've also heard of a lot more people getting sick from them than uh, eating them and not getting sick. So we'll stay away from those. But I thought I'd show you what those look like. That's a false morale. All right, guys. Well, we're back here at camp. We made it back. And we've got our turkey tail mushrooms. And we got a few of these morale mushrooms. These are good. These are really good. So... First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kinda clean up these turkey tail mushrooms a little bit and uh, make them to where they're a little bit easier to eat because they're already kinda tough to eat as it is. These are really good if you dry them and then turn them into a powder. They were, they're, a lot, they're a lot better that way. And then with these morel mushrooms, I'm just going to kind of scrape any of this little bit of dirt off. won't hurt you, but the less grit we get in our teeth, the better. All right, so what we've got here, we got a little bit of rainwater in our pot from last night. And we're going to, I'm just going to kind of chop these mushrooms up. Well, it looks like Apollo wants some. I don't think you want to eat those. You got your own food. Daddy didn't bring no food for me. I'm, I'll just cut them into halves or quarters. The small one I'll cut in half. That'll give us kind of like a mushroom soup. You want to make sure that you cook these all the way through. <clears throat> Doesn't bother everyone, but some people do get a little bit upset stomach if they're not cooked all the way through. And some people get a really bad upset stomach if they're not cooked all the way through. So the best thing to do is just make sure that, the, that you cook them all the way through. Um, I've heard that you don't want to, if you're an alcohol drinker, I've heard you don't want to drink alcohol uh, while eating these. Especially if you are sensitive uh, to mushrooms anyway. There we go. And then let me show you what we've got in our pot. We've got our turkey tail mushrooms, our morel mushrooms. And we're going to get those in the fire and uh, have a nice little dinner. And then go to sleep, wake up in the morning, and go home and go back to normal life, I guess, for a couple days anyway. It's hard to get me out of the woods. I'm always out in the woods. About, about 200 days a year out in the woods. Let's see here. That's what we got going on there. We'll try one of these turkey tails. Mm, they're not bad. Super chewy. But they're not bad. They're edible. Kind of woody. But they are very good for you. So they're a good one to eat. The aftertaste of them is really good. Now let's get to the yummy ones. There we go. Let's try these morels out. Mmm. Wow. Are... I love morels. Morels are such a good mushroom. Mmm. Good texture. Good taste. There's no salt and pepper in here. No garlic. No butter. But they're still good. Mmm. Yum. Yep, those are good. In my opinion, 
you get more nutrients when you boil stuff and drink the juice. You gotta drink the juice. Mm. Yeah, those morels are good. I'm hungry. Mm. Whew. When you don't have nothing to eat, a little bit's a lot. All right. Now, to drink our mushroom juice. Mm. It's like liquid morels. So good. All right. Well, that's dinner. And, uh, well, Apollo got his dinner. So, I think it's off to bed for us. Sun's going down. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to go to bed, wake up in the morning, and pack up and get out of here. All right, guys. Well, this has been a great adventure. We'll see you guys in the morning. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, this is Bigfoot. Out. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, well, today's pack up day. And we had a good night last night. Good night's sleep. A lot <clears throat> felt a lot more comfortable knowing that a widow maker wasn't gonna fall on my head last night. That other spot just had too many leaning trees everywhere on the side of a hill. So this is a lot better. We're gonna uh, go ahead and heat up some water and and uh, have us a little bit of tea this morning. Then we'll get everything packed up and and uh, we'll get out of here. But yeah, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and share and uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my exciting adventures. And thank you for watching. And I appreciate all the views and all the subscribers. This is a new thing to me, this whole filming thing, so I appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. So anyways, well, till, ne till our next adventure, this is Bigfoot and Apollo. Out.